Hello traders, today is Monday, November 14th, and the markets are now closed. Well, 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 VIX has returned. Have you guys been watching the five minute chart today? I sure was. And in fact, uh, I took a couple videos, not more than a couple actually. Uh, I took videos uh, throughout the day of my trades. I got calls and puts. Calls from this morning, puts from this afternoon when VIX took over. Okay, um, and I'll show those videos. Um, I'll let the videos do the talking and not have to. Uh, I won't explain too much, but I'm going to cover a little bit about the, the, the morning charts a little bit. And then I'll just let the videos play because it. Uh, I think it's best that as things are happening real time, you could see what I see and I just talk out loud so you can hear my thoughts as I'm reasoning through it, because uh, you can actually hear me say, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna place this trade, or now I'm good, or you, then you will hear me in the afternoon say, I'm gonna get some puts. <laughs> so, so the question, you know, becomes, you know, why did I choose to get puts today and not Friday? You know, it's because today, the VIX finally, after three unsuccessful days, including today, finally overtook what you see on your screen right now on the splash screen the five minute ema 50 line it took it it took it right here i was like as soon as i saw it take it and i saw the successful back test i said oh yeah it's time to get puts in there so um anyhow that is what I wanted to point out. So yes, VIX is back, guys. We have a trend reversal because VIX took the five-minute EMA 50 line. Okay, that is no longer in dispute. So um, you know, here's the MACD. Look at that. It's just up, 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 up. Hey, I, I'm going to be paying attention to uh, futures tonight and tomorrow morning. <laughs> I left a couple, I actually bought and I sold some puts. Um, I sold most of my puts. I left a couple runners in there, puts. I just want to see how they do overnight. So, uh, because I think VIX is back. Okay, so, you know, real quickly, um, let's let's cover this morning. And you'll see me talk about this morning in the video too that I'm going to, that I'll play for you. But basically, these big, wicks right there are selling pressure okay that and you'll hear me say this in the video too oh it's trying to form a wedge it's forming a wedge forming a wedge and because of the selling pressure it's not going to be able to just go that it actually has to go down and then back up and then out so it is when you get selling pressure like this you'll see this is exactly what happened. It 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 was holding the, the the EMA 50 line until the selling pressure started coming. So it had to break the line, come down, consolidate, and then up and away. Okay. And um, you'll actually hear me call out the level that I think that it's it's going to go to. This level right down here was 2205. You'll hear me talk about that in the video before it actually fell down to this level. Okay. So um, one final thing I want to point out. This is point A. This is the key point. This point A on the VIX is point A on TQQQ. In other words, that is the top for the day. How did I know? You'll hear me actually talk about it in the video too. Before it even gets to point A, I'm like, ooh, I think it's we're getting close because this point A is when the the VIX five minute candle is is making a decisive move up above above the SMA twenty line that it had failed to. See that? It failed all day. All day, all day. Falling, falling, falling. Oh, up. Oh, no, falling. Oh, up. Oh, failed the back test. 
but point A was the, the decisive move that went up and stayed above the line from that point after. See that? Look at that. That's impressive. Okay, so that proved to be point A for TQQQ. Down we go. Okay, I got puts. I knew to get puts. Actually, I didn't get it up here. Because I'm like, well, I don't know how far down it's going to go. I got it down here, right there. And I think we'll see that in the video too. I'm pretty sure we will. Yeah, right here. Why? Because it failed. It came up. I still didn't get puts. I'm like, oh, I'm not going to get puts on, on this leg. But as soon as this happened, I was like, uh-oh. We have more downside to go. Because this failing... TQQQ failing the 5 minute EMA 50 here is you know is is equivalent to it passing right here and passing the back test so this passing of the back test for VIX corresponds to this failing of the back test for TQQQ. That's when I knew this is not a dip. This is going further down. And guess what? This green line represents the close of the previous day. Technic oh, I'm sorry. sorry. It uh, represents the opening price. Opening, opening bar. We closed below the opening bar. So we retraced 100% of today's gains. In the same day we gave it all back okay so that's basically what i want to show you you know this is just a macd that confirmed it, the, the critical critical point was once the vix crossed its own ema 50 and successfully back tested that's the key you see you'll see me you'll hear me in the video talk about this this is a big big gap like, wow, that's pretty strong. And yeah, it was strong because look, there's a big gap here and it, boom, it went up even higher. Successfully back test, boom, it went up even higher. It's like, uh-oh, uh-oh, watch out. Okay, so that's really all uh, I wanted to say about that. And without further ado, let me go ahead and play the first video. Um, this is going to go for 27 minutes, so... Oops, no, that's not it. Sorry, that's that's not it. I wanted to do the morning trade for today. Here we go. All right, the time right now is uh, 8.48 a.m. Central, and uh, we're about 20 minutes, almost 20 minutes into the trading day. I have not placed a trade yet because I am waiting for the VIX to respond. I have it right here up on your screen, five minutes chart. I'm waiting for it to come back up i want to see how high up it comes on because it failed the ema 50 right here as you see and i want to see how what kind of attempt it makes to come back up um, and tqqq is right here and it should respond accordingly okay so um i'm just waiting right you gotta be patient you know you gotta be patient uh i see here that you know vix gapped up right it, big old gap up uh at opening bell oh sorry 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 not not opening bell but uh overnight overnight um and you know it's falling although it is tempting to try to get in i want to see vix respond i want to see it try to come back up to the ema 50 line and correspondingly that's going to make tqqq come back down and I'm, I'm hoping to see TQQQ, when it comes back down, make a higher low on the downside compared to the low that it made, you know, right here, right? So, so that's, that's the deal. I'm waiting. Um, so TQQQ went down at opening bell. Not, not a big shocker there. It's coming back up, but I'm going to wait when I see the, the back test, how far down it comes. See, I can still see there's there's selling pressure here on TQQQ. See that? See that big wick right there? That's selling pressure. So I'm not convinced TQQQ is 
quite ready to make a run yet, but we'll see. We'll um, we will uh, take this as it goes. So I'll tune back in here um, when we have more data play out. Okay, uh, we have some more data here, as you see on the screen. Um, but I still haven't bought anything yet. I'm still waiting. See, it's 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 so far so good. You know, here's TQQQ. It's just now coming up and trying to go past the EMA 50 on the five minute chart right here. See that? Um, but on the other hand, you see VIX here. Let's see if I can. Here we go. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. See that wick right there? It's trying to bottom. So I'm waiting to see what VIX does. And you see VIX is just outside the Bollinger Band. Yeah, that that's not natural. It's going to have to try to come back to the center. So that this big wick means VIX is trying to bottom. While at the same time, TQQQ is trying to uh, see, see what it's doing. The EMA 50 is serving as resistance at the moment. Okay, it doesn't mean it's going to absolutely fail, but at the moment, serving as resistance. So, need to let this play out a little bit more. So, I'll uh, tune back in uh, when when it does, when the pattern uh, flushes itself out a little bit more than this. Okay, so still on a holding pattern. Haven't bought anything yet. So, it's 35 minutes after opening bell still sitting on my hands because i'm waiting you need the pattern to confirm it so you need the pattern to declare itself what it's really going to do it's it's you know we're headed there so just need a little bit more time all right i'll be back okay so we have vix responding now see as i, I was waiting for this <laughs> How long do we have to wait? Like 45 minutes after opening bell? Yeah, right. See, here's the, here's a big, not big, but here's a candle, green candle with a wick. Okay. And now on the TQQ side, it's above the EMA, but there's big candle wicks here above, above all three of the candles. So there's selling pressure. Waiting for the back test now, right? Waiting for the back test. Let's see how far down this goes relative to the EMA 50 line. Can it hold the EMA 50 or not? We are going to find out. Oh, my guess is within the next 15 minutes or so. So we'll see. We will see. Tune back in in a moment. Okay. Well, we're a little bit closer, but I still see. We'll see. I mean, so, okay, it looks like the VIX is trying to go, it's going up, but then slightly now possibly backtesting. Uh, backtesting down, meaning an unsuccessful backtest. Yet I still see a lot of wicks up here on TQQ. I'm going to wait. See, I, I'm going to wait. It's safer to wait. Yeah, see, uh, here we go. See, VIX is turn the the candles are turning back green. Here we go. Yeah, okay, all right. Yeah, see, it's 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 now back testing. So I'm gonna say, you know, give it another 15, <laughs> 15 to twenty. You know, we're we're coming up on oh about fifty five minutes after opening bill. I still haven't done anything, but see, it's it's okay because what if I had gotten puts? down here oh well um, i'd be in trouble because it, it ripped the other way but what if i'd have gotten calls down here uh there's limited upside you see what i mean it's still in limbo land it's in limbo and we need we need the patterns to uh declare themselves as far as you know successful back testing and and that sort of thing so just got to give it time, you know, coming up on almost an hour after opening bill. I haven't done anything yet, but it's worth the wait because we don't know if, for example, I'm just uh, throwing a hypothetical. We don't know if 
the market makers uh, plan is to actually form a wedge this morning. Like, for example, it might fail this test, the EMA, you know, the EMA 50 come down to about here. Right. Oh, I'm just I'm just throwing an example. Come down to about here, come back up, hit resistance on EMA 50, consolidate, forming a wedge. See what I mean? We don't know if that's their grand plan or if it's going to successfully backtest this in the next 15 minutes or so and then just start going up again. Right. We don't know. We need to let the pattern declare themselves. OK, so I will. Well, it's getting close now. Let's let's just see. OK, here we go. See that. So it's 926. We still have a good four more minutes to go on. Uh, uh huh. See, but just because the, the candle body now is going right through the EMA 50 real time. It that is not this. I mean, that's kind of a bad sign, but you have to wait the full five minutes for the candle body to close and confirm it goes through the line. Otherwise, it could after the when the five minutes is up and it closes. It could just be a wick that goes through the line, right? We don't know. But right now it doesn't look good. So, but we gotta wait for the for the uh, another four minutes or so for this candle to close. I if it fails this if this pattern holds right now and it fails, I think it's gonna be it's looking to form a wedge. Yeah. So if it fails this back test right here. It's going to keep going down further. I'm just going to guess to 2205-ish. I'm just guessing to form that wedge so that much later in the morning, it's going to break out probably. It's just forming a wedge so they can build energy to break out for later on in the morning. That's what I think is going to happen. Yeah, see, so, so had I gotten those calls earlier, I, it's not looking... Um, promising, right? Because it's failing the back test. So I'm glad I waited. Um, that's all I've got for now. We'll just uh, stay tuned. I, as of right now, uh, I think it's going to fail the back test and form that wedge. So we will see. Well, so in another minute or in another about 60 seconds it, this candle is going to close so look at that see that it ended up wicking all right so let's see what happens here with this next candle but this candle technically still passes the back test even though it's got a giant wick earlier it was a huge candle body down right but now it's a wick and this one is trying to hold above the ema 50 as well uh huh. So I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna. I, we 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 still need to wait. We still uh. There's another five minutes or so. Um, but so far so good. We will see. When I look over here on the VIX, you know it's. It's, it seems to be topping out, right? The, the candle bodies are getting thinner and thinner and thinner. That, that usually suggests it's topping out, but we'll see. Let's see. Look at this candle body now, right now, real time. TQQQ going through the line. But like the other one, it could wick. I guess we're just going to have to wait. All right. Uh, there's still another four minutes until this body closes. All right. So we'll tune back in here in a little bit. Okay, we now have, yeah, this looks pretty good. See that? It's gone up. The, the green candle is clearly above the EMA 50. Look at VIX going down. I do think it's going to go down. I'm still going to wait for this candle to close, though, and for the next candle body to form. Just because um, that is the way I am with with how I trade. I've seen crazy things happen in the final 60 seconds before that 
candle body closes. See, like this, it's wicking down now. There's selling pressure still. See what I mean? And it's it's in the in the final 60, 60 seconds. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Let's check this out. New body forming. So far, successful back test. Don't want to see that go red. I want to see it go green. Okay. So, yeah, see? Come on. Go green. Once it, once it kind of starts to go green. Yeah, see? VIX is going green. That's what I'm... Right. See, that's what I'm worried about. Got. Okay. You just got to wait. Just got to wait. So in the meantime, uh, tune back in because I don't want to have to keep you on here the whole five minutes for the candle body to close. But know that I have not bought anything as of yet. Okay. I'll tune back in when um, when it's closer to the five minute mark we still got four minutes to go see look at that look at that interesting but as we've seen we've seen two previous big wicks down here so it's it's held the line so far let's just uh we need to get some evidence here because what i also don't want to happen is fixed to carve out a little notch right here that's resulting in a higher low or at least a double bottom yeah see that's what I'm you need to be worried about that if it carves out a little notch then at the very least VIX can go sideways for a while and that will stunt the upward movement of TQQQ, okay? But we'll, uh, we'll see here. So I'll tune back in. Interesting. Even though VIX is going down right now with, with a wick on the top, TQQQ is also going down, so that's interesting. Okay, I'll uh, tune back in here when this candle body closes or close to it. See, so far it's holding serve, but just the fact that it's a red candle still, I need to see a little bit more, okay, before I start to get into calls. All right, I'll be back. Okay, I think we are, yeah, we got, we got, we're good. I'm going to go... It's time to go long. It is time to go long. Let's uh, get in on this. And I'm also going to do something. Let's see here. Interesting. My screen didn't necessarily update. Did not update. That's okay. Because I got I got my calls in there. Um, okay, uh, I got in earlier. I had to re close out my dashboard here and come back in. So as of as of right now, it's it, you know. Anytime you you buy, um, it's going to be down, right? You're you're always in the hole immediately on purchase of an option. Uh, so I'm going to start off kind of small. Let's just see where this goes. But uh, see, so I'm down negative 1.96 percent. I got in right there. But as you see, it's been successfully back testing. You know, here, here, here. 
still back testing okay still back testing okay now it's starting to go up and i think you know any moment now it's going to make that surge and go up so there you have it between uh, uh i didn't place my first trade until an hour and 15 minutes after opening bell okay so um that's how long i had you had to wait yeah see it's you see these wicks it's it's facing pressure so it's trying to build up build up to it now i want to show you yeah see it, it's it's okay here's the 30 minute look at the macd on the 30 minute it's now flattened out and now ever so lightly curling up and above the zero line okay likewise with the one hour it's still well above zero and you know it's still heading down but because the 30 is starting to flatten out that eventually will make its way to the one hour so what it's doing is just simply back testing slash consolidating building energy um to make the next pop higher that's all it's doing it's just taking its own sweet time to do so and what i think see the vix is trying to come up it's trying to flatten out as well trying to get back to the sma 20 line uh but ultimately i think in the end i suspect vix is going to fail as well simply because as i'm reading the tea leaves on tqqq and really this applies to the broader markets as well um it's holding the ema 20 still see that holding it nicely it's just wicking down to it and touching it but they're except for that one but the, we still have let's see if a candle body closes below it but so far at least it's been holding it's been holding serve um and hopefully the macd stays above zero but we'll continue to monitor and go from there okay guys uh yeah had to wait for the pattern to form a little bit but here we go so it's about ready to take off now let's uh let me move this kind of down see here see the um tqqq right now real time and it is okay so earlier what was happening and i and i and i touched upon it earlier as well i said i think it's going to form a wedge and i'd have to go i'll go back and listen but i think i said 2205 which is where i thought it was going to fall potentially to I think I said 2205. I'll, I'll go back and check. But it did go down here because of these wicks. See that wick? Wick. That's selling pressure. That's like, uh. But these big giant wicks up here, it's really stopping you from, from, from doing a successful back test and then surging up. So what you naturally do when you get a wick, when you get a wick, you, you are going to break and lose the back test on the EMA 50 only to fall down but make a higher low right here to build the energy to break through it see now it's 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 starting to break through it right now see that whereas earlier well it's, it's still getting some resistance but it's see it's making progress now because it had to wick down wick down fall down through the EMA 50, consolidate, surge back up. Okay. We are now, yeah, see, now it's on the upper end of the Bollinger Band. It's on the verge of taking off. So I'd be getting some calls. I mean, I already, I already have them. Um, I'm barely in the green. But now I think for the rest of the day, we could just uh, sit and watch the show. So now check this out. Check out the VIX over here. You see how it's just kind of like, yeah, just hanging out. Eventually, I, I think it's going to lose this SMA 20 uh, 
support line right here, it, it's going to lose because it's, it's first of all, see that failed to back test that red candle. That I'm going to count as a failed back test because I can see the bottom of the um, candle below the SMA 20 line. And I think it's just holding on for dear life right now. See that? It's holding on for dear life <laughs> from falling while TQQQ is trying to go up now. And let's skip over to the 65 minute for a second. See, so check this out. Uh, instead of 10 days, let's go five, just so it's a little bit bigger. Okay, so. See, look at the MACD, well below the zero line still for VIX. Uh, this is 65 minute. And see, now it's starting to flatten out. When you start to flatten out while under the zero line still, yeah, your upwards momentum is stunted now for sure. See what I mean? It's, uh, I mean, let's, let's have a look at the 30. So the 30 is below the zero line. See that there? And it's, to me, it's a matter of time. So it comes down. Back tests come up. But I think it's going to go down. I really do. It just doesn't. See, it's starting to. That's on the 30. It's starting to form that red candle down. Let's have a look at the 5 again. Oh, maybe I need to. Refresh something here. Let's go seven and then go back to five. Zoom in. Yeah, it's, it's fading. See, RSI is coming down, down, down. And even the five minute MACD, see that it's well below the zero line and you're already starting to flatten out. Yeah. It's fading. All the markets, I think, are ready for takeoff. Okay, so that's that's all I have. Um, <clears throat> I just I just sit and watch it for the rest of the day now. See what happens. Okay, a lot of time has passed. Twelve fifty-three p.m. Central. That's one fifty-three, almost two p.m. Eastern. Uh, you know, I'm up 18.46%. And, um, see, I'm watching VIX. It, uh, it's, it's, it's hugging, hugging the SMA 20, right? Oh, meanwhile, TQQQ is just going nice upward trend. Um, I'm up 18.46%. I'm contemplating whether I should take some off the table now just to, you know, because what I don't want to happen is, Suddenly, which can happen, VIX surges up at any time. Surges up because I see it's hugging and staying over the SMA 20 line. At any time, it can go right on up and try to kiss that EMA 50, which I think ultimately will fail anyways. The reason why I say that is because I think by the end of today, see that big gap up from... Uh, overnight right we i think we're going to go come back and fill that gap down here okay let me um <clears throat> let me draw that trend line here sorry not trend line i'm gonna draw a support line yeah right around here Oops. here we go i think that's ultimately where it's going right we still have ways to fall for the day um, and so, but having said that, there's a part of me that wants to go ahead and take profits, right? Our burden hand is better than, better than two in the bush. If it's in your hand, take it. Ooh, ooh. Hold on a second. Actually, my screen was not refreshed. Oh. It is now, and it's well below the SMA 20. I was kind of wondering about that. <laughs> so I think it's going to keep on falling to this 
to this red line right there. Okay, so I'm tempted to. I might take like half of it off the table and then leave the rest in as, as runners. But essentially, as I w I'm watching VIX, I'm not watching TQQQ, I'm watching VIX. I, I want to know what you're doing, right? I want to know is it, is it going to keep on falling down or is it going to try to make a final push up only to ultimately fall all the way down? See, that's the, I guess that's the risk that you want to take. Take your profits now. You can I can always get back in too. Buy back in, right? That's that's an option, right? Just take your profits, buy back in, and see where it goes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I might go ahead and sell it now. Okay, that's all I've got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Okay, that was that first video. Let's go ahead and start the second video. And this is VIX at the end of the day. I'm calling it real time as it's happening. Let's check it out. Okay, about 51 minutes left in the trading day. Um, <clears throat> and we are approaching. Look here on the VIX right here. The, here's the, the, the EMA 50. And see that? It went up. It went its back testing. And look at that. Look what it's trying. Look what VIX is trying to do right now. Okay, that is critical. <clears throat> Let's look correspondingly to TQQQ up here. Okay, it's trying to come back up. It did come down. This down leg right here is associated with VIX's up leg up there, moving above the EMA 50. Right now, it's trying to back test down. And, and and TQQQ is trying to correspondingly go up. But see that? See the see the wick up here? It's meeting resistance. So let's that that coincides with <clears throat> VIX right here successfully so far back testing. Okay. This is where we are, you know, we are at a, a, an important point now. On the both on the day and also potentially for the rally, right? So, see, so far VIX is clearing nicely, easily the EMA 50 on the five minute right here. You see that space right there? <clears throat> so, um, ooh, you know, it was unable, it failed to do that Thursday and Friday. And quite frankly, all of today. So let us see. Can it successfully backtest? If it can. See that? See that? Okay, so you see VIX right now. Let me uh, just, you know, just kind of zoom in a little bit, make it a little bit bigger there. Okay. <clears throat> see that? Successful backtest. Let me come down a little bit. Not so up up near this successful back test not even touching the ema 50 which means there's some power there there's some power there see that you have two consecutive green bars well that coincides with let me kind of zoom in a little bit and make this a little bit bigger okay these two consecutive green bars coincide with a down down back test of the back test side of TQQQ right now with wicks on the top wicks on the top this EMA 50 on the TQQQ has now been tested once and we might be testing it again twice and it is very much at risk of failing and if it does fail then that to me signals a trend reversal that vix is at the beginning stages of assuming control again okay this is it seems very subtle right but as i'm talking right now see it's very subtle but as i'm talking here we go this could be a trend change guys um <clears throat> so in fact, right now, 
Let's see, what time is it? 2.11. 2 I really need to see, if I'm being conservative, I really need to see, I need to wait three minutes. It's 2.12 now, or 3.12 Eastern time. I need to see the next candle. I need to see this candle close. Where does this candle close? And I need to see the next candle form. But as of right now, it's looking pretty good for VIX. See that? I mean, look at that. Up, back test easily, up again. See? Over the EMA 50 line, which it has failed to clear the last three trading days, including today, Thursday, Friday, and Monday. It had failed, but now it seems to have succeeded, and lo and behold, look at that. See that? It's going below the EMA 50, but again, we need to we need to let three minutes elapse and we need the body to close below there. You can't count your chickens before they hatch, right? So um, no, this is an important juncture actually, not only for today, but for tomorrow and for the sake of the rest of the rally too. See what I mean? This is what I what I uh, want to emphasize that this is how VIX sneaks up on you. Right? You just kind of just like, all of a sudden you're like, huh, I wonder why this rally kind of just <laughs> not only topped out, but ooh, now we're starting to fall. Okay? <clears throat> and actually right now, it's probably a good time to go ahead and get into some puts. But before I... Uh, yeah. I, it, I mean, we've been basically rallying Thursday, Friday, and today. <clears throat> until once again what did i say in the last video the final hour of trading and here we are in the final hour of trading and now this happens see what i mean it's always the final hour so yeah Ooh, i don't think well you still got a minute left to close the candle body here i want to see what's up <clears throat> if you can't make up that ground and close the bottom of the candle body here if you can't close the body, the bottom of the body above or at least touching the EMA 50, then that's it. This is a trend reversal for today and I believe for tomorrow too. So let's see. Yeah, see? See, here's the five minute EMA MACD. Look at that. It's pretty much at zero now, heading in a downward slant. And now the 30 minute is curling down. Yeah, I think that's, and okay, so check this out. Here's a 65 minute curling down. I think I'm gonna get me in some puts. Oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna clear. There it is, it's confirmed. Let me, <clears throat> let me, uh, hold on a second. I'll, I'll get a little bit of puts. I'm not, 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 not too much. I'm definitely not gonna go all in. No, 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 that is not what you do. <laughs> But just to snag a few bucks, I'm going to get some puts in here. Yes, yes, yes. <clears throat> just to... I might spend a grand. Yes. We, we, we are at a real-time trend reversal, guys. Right now. Real-time. Okay. So... Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. So, um, see that? Coming down. This this downward leg is due to VIX going up. So earlier, I, I uh, when I did my video, I actually got out because I started to see, I was like, ooh, VIX is starting to not only flatten out the SMA, but, you know, it's coming up on the EMA. I'm like, oh, I'm out. I got out. I got out like right around here. Uh, mentioned that in the previous video. I was like, yeah, I'm going to get out. So I locked in those profits. I, I locked in the profits before VIX started doing this, this, and this. See? So, um, <clears throat> but now I just got puts a few moments ago. Because I got puts because why? This was the key. This back test, very strong on VIX. Like, see that air? There's, there's a gap. And then it did this, and then now it's closing. It closed a candle body, 
way above the EMA 50, and that co closed the candle body straddling the EMA 50 on TQQQ. Oh, that's it. I'm going to get some puts. But, you know, this is not entirely abnormal. Remember, we've been rallying since Tuesday. Oh, sorry, Thursday, Friday, and effectively all of today. Effectively. So, I mean, what goes up must come down. Now, the question is how far down do we go? You know, boy, we sure had a big day, huh? I think we had better not. Okay, so I'm looking at the 65 minute. We'd better not get down to 2108 on TQQQ because that is yesterday's low. So we're going to retrace. But how far we retrace better not get down to yesterday's low because then you're making lower lows. You see what I mean? Right. You you better. Yeah, you better not get to yesterday's lows. So there you have it, guys. Um, as I've been saying in previous videos, watch the VIX, watch the five minute, watch what it's doing relative to the 50 EMA. And there you have it. See that? It's cleared it. Quite frankly, that's actually like that's a lot of power. Look at look at the distance between the current VIX candle, five minute candle, and the EMA 50. It's now curling up. Because that's way up there. Okay. So um we're gonna go down for a little bit. We'll just see how far down we go. That would be curious. So what I expect TQQQ to do at some point, it's got to, it's going to come down. It's going to try to back test up, up and try to try to touch, try to kiss the EMA 50 again, right? And if the pattern holds, and if it really has lost momentum, after it tries to touch or kiss the EMA 50. The EMA 50 now serves as resistance, and then it's going to fail. Okay. So, <clears throat> there, there you have it. See, now you see 5-minute MACD in the negative and heading down. 30-minute MACD curling now in a downward position. 65-minute MACD downward. So it tried to come out, come back towards the signal line, didn't quite touch it, and now curling down. So, yeah, let's just see where this takes us. Okay, well, that's all I've got for this video. All right, and that basically, um, well... I asked the question in the video, how far down are we going to go? Well, we now know. <laughs> we went down a good ways. In fact, lost all of our gains for today. Closed lower than the open. Okay, so we closed in the red on TQQQ. And so with that, um, that basically concludes this video. If you'd like, you can follow me on Twitter. And please share this video with other people. Um, since you're already subscribed, well, that's you don't have to click the subscribe button. But uh, yeah, please share the video with others you think would benefit from this. And with that, I'm going to sign up for today. Agent 00 signing off. Thank you very much. And we will talk to you again tomorrow.